And here we go, third round of the Betfred Challenge Cup. An all-championship tie between Featherston Rovers and Halifax Panthers, and Craig Hall gets us underway, swinging the right boot. And it's taken off the single bounce by James Woodburn Hall, and here come Halifax. Looking for a strong and error-free start. Right to left, live and exclusive rugby league on the Sportsman this year, continuing our unrivaled coverage to this great sport. Gadwin Springy had a 15-metre run-up straight into Brandon Moore, no line speed. However, you have to credit the scramble defence there at Halifax because they were stretched. They managed to come up with it. Now then, first try of the game, popped up in the air and plonked down by Josh Hardcastle to give Featherston Rovers an early lead, 4-0 to the home side. Yeah, super kick. And Hardcastle just climbs higher than his opposite number. But I go back to what I said earlier, George, and it's the momentum that the forwards are laying of Feverston Rovers, just sheer hard carry. Elijah Taylor just stands his catching pass, and Gadwin Spring is just able just to dictate. Look, there's four men all over the floor, not set. And it gets held up, and then Lacan's kick, well, it's inch perfect. Super start for Feverston. The ball giving away those two cheap penalties has really hurt them early on. But Fairbank, he's got through some work already. One. Move right there. To the line. Line here. Center field. It's with Moore. Jufre can make things happen. Short ball is going to be a try. Moore picked out the pass. And Matty G's got over. And the Panthers are going to pounce and draw level here at Post Office Row. Well, that will certainly breed an air of confidence into this side. It was this time Featherston that gave away the penalty. They came up with the error centre field. And off the back of this, Moore just goes to Jufre. Matty Wilde gets caught ball watching. Brad Day loses his man. And G just straight hard and direct. Midway point of the first half. I hope you're enjoying this at home. <laughs> oh, there's a chance. Oh, here, we Here we go. Down the wing goes Wormsley. All the way That's through goes Wormsley. And Halifax hit the front. The Panthers pounce again. And Rovers are reeling. Well, what a try from the base of the scrum. We're seeing so many of them. But they have to be locked and unpicked. And this is just brilliant. Brandon Moore. Out to Keys, catch and pass with his opposite halfback. Woodburn Hall around the back. The 9, 6, 7, and 1 all combine before the release Wormsley. And as soon as he catches that, there's an acre of space in front of him. And you just know there's trouble. Because the red haired Australian, well, he can fly. And he hits the afterburners there, skips away. Oh, this is a big kick. Last kick of the half. Dufray after Keys has missed his two. Oh, he's just popped it straight towards the oh, post and over. Beautiful. Easy as that. <laughs> Another two to the scoreboard. And Halifax Panthers have come to play. They have a four-point lead over Featherston Rovers. And they... But it's six more. And this was their issue in the first half. Inviting Featherston Rovers into this part of the field. Jones... Lacan, great step towards the line, what a try! Individual magic and a little bit of French flair at Post Office Road. Thomas Lacan celebrates getting Rovers back into the contest. Well, they needed that. A beautiful little try from the young Frenchman, the halfback, Thomas Lacan. Just shows right hand, shows his right hand. Steps hard off his right foot. There it is, bang. Kavanagh can't deal with it. Tangata in across. Joe Keys there, left in, clutching at air. First man, he runs in behind one of his own players and creates an obstruction for the Halifax middle unit defence. We see there, gets rid of Colcott. G and Tangata, they can't get on to that next job. Their next job is to go and put pressure on, but because there's the body in the way, it is a penalty. And at 12-10, right in front of the posts, can you imagine Jufre will elect just to nudge the board over and bring this game all level? Yeah, scratching his head there, John Davis. He thought that was a strong carry. Then he heard the shrill of Liam Moore's whistle. 
So instead, he's standing under his post, about to watch the ball fly over for 12-12. Well, just for our viewers, if Dan Fleming had committed to the run and went right through the line, then it would have been play on. But because he stands still, Davis then has to give himself up, find the floor, do a voluntary tackle. Because he carries on working. 12 12. Right. It is a penalty. Today, one the first pass to Gadwin Springer and two out of backfield. And it's Halifax now. He's put his side under real pressure again at the bottom of the hill here at Post Office Row. No. Halifax knocking at the door. Tangata right side. William! Him. Inman on his own. Spots a massive gap in the Rovers' defence and makes them pay under the sticks. And the Panthers pounce again to lead 16-12 with a kick to come. Well, it was that error, wasn't it? Off Briscoe, over on that far side of the field. Lachlan Wormsley first to react and get on the ball. The player later, Walcott, he just fights. Shows sheer determination, will and want to play the ball quick. The high kick off Keys, And it's Wormsley's right arm that just takes a snatch at that ball. Everybody else stops. Wormsley plays on. Walcott there creates a scruffy rook. And Tom Ingham... Just sees an acre of space there to the right-hand side of the play of the ball. Dave Mason in there too, Wormsley back there. But Cosa winds up five metres to the right-hand side of the post. Key moments in the Betfred Challenge Cup. The favourites, Featherstone Trail, the can. Gadwin Springer doesn't miss many from there. Try stopping him. The big man is over. And Gadwin Springer brings Rovers back with him too. He certainly does and brings this game to what in all probability will be back at 18 all. I go back to the penalty from Jacob Furbank. I just had a feeling that it was a bad, bad penalty. But take nothing away. Lacan goes to the line. A no-look pass and hits the big 17-half stone Frenchman on a short ball. Legs are driving and it's just far too easy. We've got two more, three more players in the bank here. Keys. Jouffre. Here's the fullback, James Woodburn Hall. Yeah, clever decision there. Head one back to centre field for sure. Off goes Zach McComb. And then Matty G. In range now, George. Where's Keys? They're going to run it still. Jouffre. They want five oh, over. Jouffre will score. Is that the match winner for Halifax? They were set up for a drop goal and Jouffre have caught Rovers cold and the Panthers hit the front again. Well, my word. Louis Jouffre. I thought for all money they were going to set back centre field. Where was Keys? That was the question that was asked. But Jouffre... Like all good halfbacks, has his eyes up, demands the ball, carries overs, and it's Brad Day that misses him. And he's just able to get through that far too easy in between Hardcastle and Day, just drops the shoulder. Last visit a month ago, That's and there's going to be a card. Red card. It's a red card. What's Hardcastle done in back play? Well, it's got to be from this short kickoff. Something our eyes were watching the ball. There's got to be something that happened in back play. The linesman entered the field. Well, he's knocked on, and then we lose him out of shot. See if we can pick it off. Left side, you're looking. Oh, and it's something and nothing, isn't it? <laughs> Behind Springer, Taylor, Lacan, Bossy, far side. It's come on. It's going to be six more at this time. Knocked forward by Briscoe. He'll give it Featherston, I'm sure, for the first knock on. It just depends how much is on the clock here. They've got one player, George. This is it. Challenge Cup run on the line for the season here. Halifax lead 22-18. Featherston from the scrum have a chance to take us to Golden Point or even win it. Halifax hanging on. Just cheat. Jump off your line and cheat if you're going to win it. Wilde reverses the ball. Leilua, far side. Briscoe's waiting. He's knocked it forward. And Halifax pounce. And they're going to win this one. I thought they were just all going to cheat and get off the line and give a penalty away. They couldn't. They can't take two points. They've got another scrum. Uh, 
It's Halifax, he's ball, George, that's the game. It was Leilu, a desperation. There it is. And the Hooter sounds. What a win. Halifax inflict the first defeat of the season on Sean Long's Featherstone Rovers, three times winners of Rugby League's most iconic cup competition, but well beaten today. Take a bow, Halifax. Fantastic from the Panthers. They march on. Featherstone fall at the first hurdle. Kyle Amore.